Two men go into an internet cafe early in the morning with a few pro tools and the worst of intentions. Hardly anyone is there and even if the place were busy, it wouldn't matter because they've got their routine down to a science. They pick two seats midway down so as not to look obvious. One of them acts like they're going online, but what he's really doing is helping to cover the movements of his friend, who has already unscrewed the casing of the computer and is now working on the floor bolts that are holding it down. There's a wall on his side, so if you worked there, it would be like he was digging through a bag backpack or something. Something walks by them at 28 seconds and is too busy on their phone to notice what they're up to. They act like they are looking at something on the same screen as the entire uncased computer gets put into a large plastic bag. They put the empty computer case back to make it look like nothing is out of place. They can't just walk out of there with a big obvious computer shaped plastic bag, so they take it into the bathroom and dismantle the computer for valuable spare parts and throw the rest in the trash. The clerk has no idea what they've done, not even glancing up as they briskly walk out with top of the line video cards, RAM, and other hardware to sell. Clearly, this isn't their first time, but this time they were caught on camera. What happens when a flight goes haywire mid-air? Passengers of JetBlue Flight 292 found out firsthand on their flights from California to New York a flight that ended in flames, smoke, and sparks. After the flight took off from Burbank's Bob Hope Airport, an indicator light came on noting that there was an issue with the landing gear. The front tires of the airplane had swiveled sideways and were frozen there, as the retraction gear hadn't fully retracted. With 146 passengers on board, the airliner swung laps in the California sky for three hours to burn off fuel so that their emergency landing wouldn't be so fiery. They were told to land at LAX as it was supplied with more emergency equipment and a longer runway on which to land. The pilot would land it using primarily the back wheels of the airliner. All the while, people were watching this scary event live at home on TV. Passengers were watching it on their tiny TV monitors on the back side of each seat. Loads of emergency equipment sat ready on the runway, while more than 100 firefighters awaited the landing. Time stood still, with thousands stopping on highways and watching from nearby buildings. As the jetliner made its final approach, passengers were told to get in the brace position. As they prepared for landing, needless to say, many feared for their lives in this moment, but the pilot managed to land softly on the runway. On the plane's back wheels, it was the smoothest landing I ever had, one passenger said. As its front end touched down, friction sent up plenty of sparks and blaze, but the fire subdued quickly. The passengers and everyone watching were relieved that this scary, intense event didn't end up much worse. Applause broke out on board for the pilots and crew. The pilot's cool-headed grid has since been praised the world over, as it should be. This one will get you all kinds of nervous. According to the video, paranormal events have occurred in Guadalajara, Mexico, when a tourist was visiting the cathedral where the saint lays, the young child's eyes opened. According to the website, La Oscura Habitación, the video was taken on December 12, 2012. The tourist who took the video footage on his cell phone claimed that he hadn't witnessed the child's eyes open at the time, but only saw it afterwards in viewing the video. The stories of how this saint became martyred are contradictory. Some stories call into question whether this is even the saint, as it's stated that all the reliquaries that remain of her are her skeletal hands. Whether this is the saint or not, the mystery begins and ends here. The girl is clearly past, has been for many years, and yet she's opening her eyes. Sean Baker noticed this strange thing living in his backyard not too long ago, and now the situation has become too large for him to ignore any longer. Started out as a little white, regular mushroom, and now it's grown into something demonic. Whatever it is, one thing is for sure. The strange looking mass is able to withstand a lot of punishment. Dead. It's like it's bleeding. 
It oozes some sort of weird sludge in response to his attacks that I really hope is not toxic. Even with the help of a 2x4, Sean Baker is ultimately unable to bust the thing open or pry it loose from the earth. He curses the seemingly permanent growth in his backyard and ends the video in disgust. This almost certainly has to be some sort of rare fungus in my opinion, though I'm not sure what kind. But then again, maybe it really is from somewhere far away like Sean Baker seems to believe, perhaps even space. I'm hoping that together we can identify exactly what this thing is, and more importantly, how to get rid of it. Something is haunting this house, or at least that's what David Stenberg thinks based on his dog's Astrid's odd reaction. Sometimes he's fine with going into this bedroom, and sometimes he acts more like this. What, what is the matter? What is the deal? Listen again, there's a really shill scream that makes the dog recoil. I'm already convinced this could be a ghost, but this video is 100% real in my opinion. Based on what I'm about to show you next, I don't care how well you train your dog, there's no way to make him look up at you with a concerned expression and then get surprised. David tries to show Astrid that nothing is there by stepping inside, but Astrid is having none of it. I think his dog is telling him, in no uncertain terms, to get out of there now. Let me know if you agree. Astrid, you're freaking me out. Come here. Come here. This video is taken near the Pearl Tower in Shanghai, China. The forecast is clearly cloudy and thunder can be heard in the distance. It appears people began recording when they saw someone who appears to be levitating or hanging off the tower. Suddenly, there's a surge of lightning, and it appears this person acts as a lightning rod because he's shocked numerous times by the lightning. But the man is fine and stays suspended in midair. I couldn't find any additional information on the incident. So it appears we'll never know what happened to this individual beyond the recording of this video. If this video is real. WebDriver Torso is one of the few YouTube channels that continues to stay creepy even after being supposedly debunked. A number of years ago, this channel was discovered uploading videos that were all rectangles and frequencies. The videos are somewhat mesmerizing to watch and many people claim they will lure you into a strange state of mind over time. Google has since come forth with an official explanation that this channel is used only to test video quality. But this is a really vague explanation and plenty of people are convinced that this is a cover-up story for something more sinister. Meanwhile, the videos have only gotten longer and are now up to 25 minutes and 1 second in length. Also one day in 2013, WebDriver Torso uploaded this strange video seemingly for no reason at all, further adding to the mystery. As to exactly what this means, your guess is as good as mine. This channel could be anything from a video quality testing site like Google says, to a mind control experiment or even an AI program gone rogue. Also, if you can explain this channel's rather cryptic name to me, I'd definitely like to hear your best guess, though I really doubt anyone can. What lurks in your alley in the middle of the night? This video may surprise you. Published to YouTube by Taslock in March of 2021, the security footage was recorded on the 30th of December 2020 at around 4 in the morning. An empty road with a few motorcycles and bicycles parked along each side still in the darkness, at least for the moment. Suddenly, someone invisible decides to take this bike out for a spin. The motorcycle abruptly pulls out into the road, turning in place. At one point, it slows in its turning, then jerks forward and continues in its path before falling over on the side in the middle of the road. Could this just be something mechanical malfunctioning in the bike? Or did a ghost realize he didn't have enough momentum mid-launch? Is this ER haunted by the dearly departed? TikToker Lucy Trevilian thinks so. They've posted the security camera footage as proof. Watch the curtain in the background.
It blows around, moving as though someone touched it. According to the TikToker, this happened at around 5 in the morning. Nobody was there, and there are no air vents near the curtain. Judging by everyone's reaction, this is an anomaly. If we are to trust the TikToker that no air vents might have caused this, I think it's safe to say that the spirits did. After all, hospitals are regular havens of lost souls. Phil the Thrill is exploring the forest with a friend when they encounter something strange in the water that looks really out of place. You see that? What? What is that? Discarded at the end of a small stone trail is a black box tightly bound by rope with a single padlock hanging over one end. Across from the padlock is a note written for whoever finds it. Should just beat the heck out of it. Maybe it will open. Yeah, dude, what is this? Let me see. It's like a note or something. Oh, what the heck? With sadness, I'm writing this letter because I can no longer take care of her. I thought this could be the best way to give her a new life. They take the mystery box all the way back to their house where they have the tools needed to pick the lock. Whatever's inside has been silent the entire time and they fear the worst as they pop the lid. Pull it off, let's see what's in here. What the? There's a baby in here? Inside is not a dog like they were thinking. Apparently whoever left the note was the parent. After that, I immediately called the police. I have trouble believing she's actually left her out in the forest. The youngster is clean and not underweight. Her clothes aren't dirty and her pacifier is still in her mouth despite getting rattled around on the way back. Phil the Thrill goes on to claim he called the police immediately. According to him, they came out and told him not to film anymore. The police and they were able to get the baby reunited with her parents. The police told me not to record the phone call. That's why I'm not going to post any of the footage on YouTube. It doesn't make sense for him to post all of this other stuff, but not the one thing that would have convinced me. I think a more likely reason for the lack of a phone call is because faking a police report can get you in serious trouble. Then again, it wouldn't be that hard to pretend to talk to the police on his phone if he really wanted to fake it. Now, I'm not so sure if it's real or fake, and I guess that's why this creepy video's gotten well over 6 million views. This deer looks like it could be fine except it's walking in circles with its tongue hanging out without a clue of its surroundings. A telltale sign of CWD. The person recording thinks this could be the work of hunters, but I disagree. Watch this part and tell me what you really think happened. Oh yeah. The deer circles in place for well over a minute and then silently walks out to a nearby field. The way it is walking here makes me think that this is the result of something to do with the brain. The animal is so out of it that it looks ready to walk through the front door of a nearby home. Perhaps this exact scenario is precisely how it will one day spread to humans. I really hope this incident was reported to the proper wildlife agency for further investigation. A team of ghost hunters are inside of an abandoned home when they catch what appears to be a transparent phantasm at the top of the stairs. Hold still for a second. Hello? I'll admit that I did not see what they were talking about at first, but when you replay the video at half speed, it's easier to see a clear outline of a person's head and shoulders. The figure starts out facing the camera and then darts through a door on the right. I'm not sure if this is CGI or not, but let me know if you can see it, and if so, what you think it was. A married couple stationed at Fort Irwin in California are relaxing at home when suddenly their motion-activated baby monitor turns on to reveal some scary stuff caught on camera. Um, that's a little weird. I don't know what it is. What they suspect is a small ghost hand waves at them excitedly. When they move the camera a few degrees over, it's mysteriously gone. It isn't long before the ghost hand reappears to wave at them some more. 
The backstory on this one is sparse. They say their house is haunted but don't go into more detail. They also say the hand moves way too fast to be a human, and I agree that's true, but only because this is probably a piece of dust on something up close. This mysterious CCTV video, taken from a warehouse belonging to a company called Party Packs, shows a stalker having all of his hard work undone in a matter of seconds when some items randomly fly off the shelf, which then begins to shake on its own. Nearby boxes almost fly into his face when he bends down to retrieve the fallen items. It could just be a string, but I definitely see some kind of tall figure standing just beyond the boxes just after it happens. Something is definitely moving its head here at the 36 second mark. After the stalker runs away, we get to see down the other side of the aisle from a different camera. That's when a transparent person briefly appears wearing a long robe that touches the floor, perhaps the same figure that appeared behind the boxes before. The camera malfunctions and when it comes back, we see them again in the static, much closer this time. Studying the camera curiously before it breaks entirely, the company would stop uploading for 7 years shortly after this video was made, so perhaps they really were scared out of business and recently reacquired. Who's hiding behind this mirror? This short clip posted by TikToker, Sion Wick prompts that question. Watch it snap this Pokemon card up. The TikToker writes we're waiting for it to trade us back. In the comments, Reed Hart points out the black fingers at the mirror's edge at the beginning of the clip. Take another look. They look more like spider legs than fingers to me. But if that's the case, this guy's got a mad strong spider on his hands. Bloopers are more than just laughs. Published in October of 2012, what is that 09 writes, I was recording my brother for a school project and he was looking back through the bloopers and then he noticed this thing. As the boy practices his speech, a dog on the couch behind him is playing with the blinds. Look closely over the boy's shoulder. A creepy creature appears in the darkness as the blinds open. The creature's bizarre face looks humanoid but somewhat extraterrestrial. Go. The band we chose was the Taiga Border Forest, which is located in Russia, Northern Canada, and It's peering in at them. What is this thing? The uploader notes, to where the thing's head was at, had to be five feet tall, because that's how high the window is. Is this creature stalking them? Or is it one of the boy's peers trying to cheat on his school project? Look closer at your family photos. You might spy something alarming. Watch to the right of the kid dressed in black. Did you see that? A ghostly figure appears to run out from behind him. Is this ghost camera shy? I don't know about you, but I can't come up with an explanation for this. As they say, a picture is worth a thousand words. What scary story is this one telling us? This haunted mansion isn't a Disney theme park ride. It's the real deal. On the Chills Narrator subreddit, Be More Talk submitted this freaky video in July of 2019 writing. This video was made while it was 115 degrees out, and I say this because while we were filming, we noticed that someone was in the top floor of this 42-room mansion that was built in the 1800s. The Uplands Mansion appears to be rather decrepit and is buried in nature. Lots of trees around and ivy growing up the mansion walls, perfect scene for a ghost sighting. The video navigates the overgrown shrubbery surrounding the exterior of the mansion, some of which is covered with graffiti. At one point, as the YouTuber notes, there appears to be someone in the upper window. The YouTuber says someone keeps poking their head in and out of the window, but the visual is not clear. Whatever it is, it's enough to keep them out of that mansion, at least for now. This faded family footage goes from heartwarming to horrifying. When you realize what this father has done to become a wanted man with a $100,000 reward on his head, 
According to the FBI, this man extinguished his entire family, wife included, and then created a gas leak in the home. He lit a candle and the house went up in an instant to cover his tracks. This was back in 2001 and no traces of him have been uncovered. He is still on the top 10 most wanted list just in case. Solo Ambush goes to a haunted shack that's been abandoned in the jungle. The place is haunted by two evil shamans. Conjoined twins connected at the hip. Solo Ambush is ready to live up to his reputation and confront them both on live stream. He finds odd evidence in the pages of an old book that could be paranormal incantations of some kind. Tell me what he says here and anything you can about what's written in the book. So this is the last one. Okay. Okay. I'm especially interested in what this page says. It has a picture of the world on it and a list. He stares at this page for the longest of all. For some reason, he lights five candles in the attic and says something to the shaman. Okay, sila keluar. Aku cabar segala jin, kadam, pesuruh, dukun. Maybe it has to do with what he just read. Whatever he recites, it works. Notice how the shadows start moving when the noise begins and how they stop moving when the noise ends. Final analysis? These scary moments caught on livestream video are paranormal and creepy beyond belief. It's like the ghost is walking right up and standing over him. It looks like Solo Ambush is the one getting ambushed this time. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.